All right, so who do you think the largest gaming company is? Blizzard Entertainment. Nope. Riot Games. Mm-mm. Activision. Nope. Tencent Holdings. Who the fuck is that? Hey everyone, welcome to Game Gorgon. My name's Indigo. I'm Krug. And today we're going to be talking about Tencent Holding and how they stopped the hostile takeover of Ubisoft. Well, they helped too. They didn't single-handedly yeah. come in like a wrecking ball with like their shields up and no, they, they made a ton of money and stuff. Yeah, well, yeah, they made money off of it, but they also stopped it from happening. They did, which like, is good. Uh, we'll get into that though, because first we want to talk about who Tencent is, because maybe some of you haven't heard of them and I think it's pretty important that you know, mm -hmm. they're enormous. Massive. They're just disgustingly profitable with like thousands and thousands of employees with a huge presence in the United States. They're primarily a Chinese company mm -hmm. and that's where they do a lot of their business. And actually they do a lot of uh, non-gaming stuff as well. Tencent Holdings is kind of the umbrella over a lot of divisions and just Tencent Games is one of them. Mm -hmm. But they have like a social media app that's huge in China. They have like email and like all this other, all these other services. Like it's kind of Google China as far as technology sure. is concerned. It's, it's amazing how much stuff they do. And one of the crazy thing is, it was founded in 1998. Yeah, like, this is my lifetime. That's not even that long ago. And like, right now, I actually asked Indigo before we started recording this episode to guess how much they're worth, and he said $2 billion. I was like, $2.9 billion. I yeah. was like, I'm overshooting. Yeah, it. Like, they're uh, worth over $500 billion. And that's US, we're not talking foreign currency. That's United States currency. Um, it's insane, their founder, Ma Hu Tang, I think that's how you pronounce it, I'm not sure. He's worth over $45 billion himself, which is nuts. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm gonna tell you right now, we did another take of this where I said $50 billion and then Indigo corrected me. I don't know why, because 45 billion and 50 billion are basically the same number. It's basically infinity money. I mean, I mean, it's it's five billion in part. Yeah, but- Which is a lot. Which is, it, <laughs> they're, they're, they're both infinity money and they're infinity money apart because $5 billion is basically still infinity money. I mean, we view it as uh, infinity money because we don't even know what like a thousand dollars looks like. What is that? I don't know. I think it's like when you take two ones and put them together. Oh, sandwich money. I wish I had sandwich money. <laughs> All that's really interesting, but why do we care? Tencent is, in terms of market share and mm -hmm. in terms of revenue, the largest gaming company ever. Yeah. Uh, Which. Maybe it, not ever, but currently. Well, well. That, that's those are the statistics. And, and the thing that that's found. the thing that's crazy about it is that it's not like a household name. It's not like oh my no. god, have you seen the new game like produced or published by Tencent? Like it's not yeah. like it's, it's they they own tons of property and they have their hands in tons of studios. Maybe not actually doing any work in mm -hmm. there, just like reaping profits. But for example, they outright own Riot Games. Mm -hmm. Like they that is theirs. They own that. Riot, Activision, they, and they, they, they don't own them. They have minority stakes yeah. in a bunch of a bunch of other like Activision, Blizzard, uh, Epic, Epic, and then like tons of other ones like the the people that made um, Oryx Must Die. Mm -hmm. They have a minority stake in those people too. The reason I think that makes them important is because they're kind of they feel like a single point of failure for gaming, right? Like. What happens if something happens to them? What happens if something happens to their interest in gaming and they're just like mass divesting from gaming companies? Does that impact me directly? Are they like solely in control of my entertainment? Well, I mean, they're minority shareholder in in, in a large group of people, yeah. which means- But like they, minority if, if they, shareholder, like 21%. Well, I, I mean- mean If I you mean, have that kind of divestment, yeah, I, can I, you survive? Yes, yes. Is it easy to survive? No, I didn't, right. I mean like, I think if, if for some reason that company, like all of a sudden they discovered that that company is embezzling millions of dollars and the company goes under for some reason. I think it would survive <laughs> like that nine yeah, times. Like, like, like you have to think of what would cause it to, to one. Yeah, and that's stuff. what I'm, I, I'm not saying it's plausible or like it's okay. coming soon. I'm not speculating that yeah, it's gonna yeah, happen. Yeah. I'm just saying like, what if it does? 
it, I, it, one, it would definitely affect the gaming industry, but I think it's just all it would do is leave opportunity for a lot of people that want to get into investing in video games, the opportunity to do that. And so it may not be Tencent that owns it, but na- maybe it's going to be, you know, Joe Bob's Gaming Shack that decides to start investing into Blizzard and takes over the minor- minority. Hopefully. Sure. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, that's reasonable. Like, that makes a lot of sense. But I, I find it hard to believe that something like that wouldn't be disruptive regardless of whether or not not either one large organization oh, yeah. or a bunch of smaller organizations took up the mantle of all of the bits and pieces that Tencent was involved in. I know? think I think because they're part of so many different gaming studios and that th- from what we can tell, they're allowing those companies to run the way that they want to run. Like, yeah, that, th- Blizzard, that is what it seems like. Blizzard doesn't run the same way as Riot and Riot doesn't run the same way that Robot Entertainment does. And so it's more of like a... Uh, yes, we're investing money because we know that they're going to make us money. And so we've put money into you to get money back. And that's it. Keep doing what you and do. The other like, thing about their investment strategy seems like they're putting a lot of effort into finding organizations that they can use as like an operating uh it's that not they like, can function as an operating agent for in China. Yeah. So like instead of Blizzard, which we've talked about this part of Blizzard's like um, uh, operating mm-hmm. procedure before, instead of Blizzard publishing their game directly to China and like standing up its own China servers and blah, 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 they just give an operating partner like a license to use the game there and then they do it for them. And then they also make changes. And mm-hmm. if you wanna hear us talking about that, you can click this video about the new Hearthstone deck tracker that's only available in China. Uh, it's, it's a pretty common practice from what I can tell, and Tencent does it for a lot of different people. Mm-hmm. And actually their Ubisoft deal has them as the China operator for Ubisoft games, uh, which is you know almost certainly why they came in and did that, right? Like they're not gonna just come in and like white knight save Ubisoft, they had to get something out of it. That was part other, of it. Other than, you know, profit and money. Well, okay, well the, <laughs> other, the other reason they could have done it is because the, the company that was trying to uh, take over Ubisoft is one of their direct competitors. Mm-hmm. And so they could have just been like, no, we don't want you to have that. Like, yeah. give us peace and go away. You don't get Ubisoft as a company anymore. Uh, all of that's reasonable. That's pretty high level financial stuff that's a little outside my grasp. But yeah, even with the hat. <laughs> <See>? <laughs> All right, everyone, head down to the comments and let us know, have you heard of Tencent before now? And if you haven't, are you now super paranoid like Krug is? Uh, While you guys are down there, hit the like button. Make sure to hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed. We know 82% of you aren't. Uh, And uh, while you guys do that, make sure to hit the bell icon, like we said before, because YouTube doesn't understand what I mean by subscribe. Like, I want to hear. Yeah, subscribe means... uh that that's what mm-hmm, it means nothing mm-hmm. it's meaningless yeah you can also get in contact with us on uh on twitter you can hit me up on twitter at indigo qt you can get me on twitter at krug qt you can also get both of us at underscore q times we have been game gorgon we will see you guys tomorrow Bye.